Normal. Yes. Yeah, a lot. Loads. Loads of times, man. Yes, I have. Yeah, so many times at school. Of course. Definitely. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Yes. Fortunately not. I've never received that. Actually, I've not been called Boko Haram. Most people see me and they're like, are you a Muslim? Particularly when, when, when they're like, sorry, what's your name? And I, I, said, I tell them, my name is Sulaiman. They're like, Sulaiman, you don't look like a Muslim. And I'm like, really? Uh, Muslims, do Muslims look different? Like, basically, I've never been called Boko Haram. Just tend to remain calm, but the human, the human factor is always there. You want to, you have this feeling of wanting to react, wanting to bust out, but I try as much as possible to remain calm. I would just laugh at them because um, it's, you know, due to ignorance. Because when you know what Boko Haram is, you don't attach it to Islam at all. It's a crazy experience. I, I, I find that um, almost every time or a lot of time, maybe because of my beards, even just like two days ago, I was still called something similar to Osama bin Laden, like I'm looking like him. Before, I get mad when I get called that. But now, first thing, call me Boko Haram. Guy, you won't join us. That's the first thing I'll tell you. You won't join us. Why would I join you? Man, when, if you are so passionate about calling me Boko Haram, that means you like this thing. You, you think it's a cool thing. So come and join us now. But if you don't think Boko Haram is cool, let's solve these things together. I mean, you just walk through here, but then all of a sudden, they just call you Boko Haram, and then I just laugh because it's funny. Or you enter the bus, and then find they might not call you Boko Haram as such, but you're being treated as one. And I don't know those incidents, it just, it's saddening, and it's, it shakes my heart. I think being in a bus or something, and the woman didn't want to sit too close to me. I don't know. You know, Boko Haram has been around for a while. This is about two years ago. But it's, I still remember it's like yesterday. She didn't want to sit too close to me. And then every time I clutch my bag, she would, you know, look at me funny like, wow. You know, and then I was about to pay one time, I think. And then she was like, Boko Haram. Really? Sometimes it can be hard to uh, not respond. Sometimes it can be really amusing. So you just keep quiet and go about your business. I was in Ibadan for an assignment and um, I don't know, a set of people just came into the hall where I was working and they just saw me because I, I work in finance and I wear the hijab. And, he just, and I was saying something and he just said, would you keep quiet, you Boko Haram? And I'm like, Boko Haram? Obviously, the kind of person I am, I didn't let him rest. And we, had, but we went back and forth until I just kept quiet and someone else took over for me. Someone had my back. So I was happy and lucky at the same time. Okay, so this was when I just started wearing hijab. And we went to Benin to, um, for a, a cousin's wedding, I think. Yeah, if I remember correctly. For a cousin's wedding. And then my aunt sees me. In fact, everybody's just looking at me strange, like, this is not how I've died yet. And everybody's like, mm, she's the one. And this my particular aunt, who, well, mashallah, she doesn't hide her feelings at all. And she's like, eh, how are you? become Boko Haram. And as far as it's a shock, but we all laughed about it. And I'm like, no, I'm not Boko Haram auntie. I just wear hijab. When did that one start? Oh, you know, there are ways you handle these things and just shrug it off and laugh about it. It's nothing to be... I don't, I don't, I don't find it threatening or anything. I'm not a Boko Haram. If I wear, I'm sure you run away from me anyway. Like most of our teachers, calling me Boko Haram store because I'm a Muslim, this and that. I was a woman. I don't know. I wasn't the only one. I was with my friend and she was looking at us weirdly. Like, I was, yeah, I'm wearing a job and she was also wearing a job. Then she just started looking at us like with this kind of disgust in her eye. And the next thing she was discussing with someone that I'm a book around me. And I'm like, ah. But we didn't say anything and we just left because she didn't really say it to our faces. So we just left. The only, the only one that comes close was somebody, somebody asked me, are you a Muslim or, are you a Muslim or Christian? I told the person I was a Muslim and she was saying, ah, you are terrorists. You are bombs. So as the person just said that, I was, I felt, Shocked that at this time of civilization, someone was calling men a Muslim. I, so I just, as she just said that, I just, 
I just love to dove and I just talk to her as a person that I'm here now. You, we, okay, let's say you've seen me at least we've known me for the last two years. Have you seen me with any bump or anything? That the stigma is not really nice. It's not really nice because uh, there's a kind of propaganda behind the terrorism and everything. So I just try to explain to her. Well, I'm there since that day she, she didn't make it up again. My sister's husband, he's got beards, right? So we were going out one day and this very funny man, he just started shouting, Bukwara, Bukwara. I'm like, I was wondering where is that coming from? And I noticed he was looking at my in-law, like his Bukwara, I was, I was embarrassed. I felt bad that people out there would stoop so low to see Islam, this beautiful religion, to be something just, it's just terrible. So one of my friends, wait, she was a Muslim. And she was like, oh, Alhamdulillah, we got fuel. Ah, can you really eat? Well, do you I was so shocked. I was like, oh. So you have that same thought that we, I and you, me and you, we are Boko Haram's. You know, I said, this is why some people normally call some people bastard. <laughs>